Somebody ought to hear me here. You, you've got to learn to trust in him. Even when you can't understand what he's doing, you've got to trust that he will do what he said he would do. He's sovereign. He's, he's God all by himself. If, if you don't go to work in the morning, he can still pay your bills. If you don't put your check in the bank, if you don't even have a check, he'll be bread. He'll be water. He'll be joy. He'll be a friend. He'll be a way. You need to trust him, not because of what you see, but you need to trust him because of what he said he will do. Wish I had a witness. You got to just trust him even when you can't see what God is doing. You just got to trust him. Even when you don't understand, that's what that verse means. I think we can accurately apply it here. The verse says, lean not to thine own understanding. All of us are from Louisiana. Lean not to your own understanding. All of us got a bad understanding. But we need to understand one thing, that God is no shorter than his word. He will do what he said he would do. And there will be nothing in your life that God won't bring you to, that he's not God enough to bring you through. Abraham said it. Abraham said it with his mouth. He said, we're going up on this mountain and we coming down. Abraham didn't know what God was going to do up on the mountain, but, but he knew if God can take me up, He's God enough to bring me back down. And I need to speak to your faith tonight. I need to speak to your spirit man tonight and tell you that God will do what he said he would do. Don't doubt him. Don't question him. Just trust and obey. Trust. Uh, trust him and obey. Abraham starts his descent on the mountain. He starts his descent on the mountain. I'm almost through. He starts his descent on the mountain because God has told him to go up. He takes his only son with him that he loves with all of his heart, it appears, up on the mountain with him. The boy, this is not the first time that Abraham has taken his son to worship with him. His son knows what the elements of sacrifice are. He has taught his children, you are with, you with me here? Not only does he know what God expects, but he's taught his children to know what God expects. And his, his young son looks at him and says, Daddy, hold on, something is missing. The, the, the boy said it. He said, Daddy, it, it ought to be so in your house. It ought to be so in my house that when, that when the enemy comes into our house, that our children, our sons and daughters are close enough to God. We prayed with them enough. We read the Bible with them enough that they can tell when unfamiliar spirits are in our house. Our children ought to know how to watch. Our children ought to know how to fight. Our children ought to know how to pray and trust in God. The tragedy of our lives is they know how to do everything on the internet. They got their Facebook pages. They can email and text message. They can lie, cheat, and steal. They can slip around at nighttime and smoke dope and build bombs in the basement. But the tragedy of life is too many of them don't know how to pray. Isaac said to his daddy, and he could say to his daddy, he said, Daddy, something is missing. And listen at what he said to his son. He says to his son, listen, son, you're right. There is something missing. But what's missing, God. I wish I had a witness. What, what you don't see, son, you, you old enough to see fire and wood, but what you can't see is that there's an unseen God that's behind the scenes. And when we get to the testing time and everything else fails, God will step in. 
Close my Bible. Get ready to go to my seat when I tell you. When you can't trust his hand, believe his heart. When you don't understand what God is doing in your life, you got to learn how to trust God's hand. God says to Abraham, you won't be able to figure it all out. But what I need you to do is trust me. Trust that if I guide, I will provide. Trust me that if I lead, I will feed. Trust that if I send you in the battle, I will fight your battle. Trust that if I tell you to go to sleep, I will dispatch your angels to watch over you all night long. Trust that if I said you are blessed going in and you're blessed going out, just trust that you are blessed. Trust if you're sick, if I say you're well, that you are healed. Trust if I say you're delivered, even if you're in jail, you got to just trust that I will open a way for you to get out of your prison. Trust that if you give me your child, I'll give your child back with a new attitude, with a new mind, with a new spirit. So then Abraham gets on top of the mountain, lays his son on the mountain. The final test is, will you kill him to let your faith in me live? Abraham said, yes, Lord, I will trust you enough to give you my son. Somebody said that when God saw Abraham draw back his hand, he knew that in Abraham's heart, his son was already dead. Do I have a witness? He knew that Abraham had already given his son back to God. If when you give the best of your service, tell in the world that the Savior has come, be not dismay when men don't believe you God will step in and make everything all right he said Abraham already got what you need if you would look over yonder there's a ram in the bush I got to leave you with this if you've given you're all to God. When you put all on the altar, you need to know that God will match your all with his all. Out on Calvary, God gave his all for your all. He died for your all. He dead for your all. Put him in a bar or tomb. But early, early on a Sunday morning, got up all power in his hand. Hallelujah, I'm ready for my test. Anyway, you bless me, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Anyway, you try me, Lord, I'll trust and i lean on Jesus' name, on Christ, the solid rock I'll stand. All other ground is like sinking sand. Dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holy lean on Jesus' name. Yeah, yeah, I trust in God wherever I may be out on the land. On the stormy sea, billows roar, he keeps my soul. My heavenly father watches all.